Alan Valdez knows all about marijuana stocks. He's the chairman of cannabis company Diego Apelicer and a senior partner at Silver Bear Capital. Uh, Alan, great to see you. Um, you know, somebody just did the math for me and told me that if you had bought at the IPO price back in July, you for a thousand dollars, you put a thousand dollars in, you'd be a millionaire today. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's right? true. We, we, that's correct. Well, you know. Cannabis, I think, is going to have a great year this year. And one of the main reasons is the president has this massive tax cuts here in America. He's got to make up for it somewhere. And in cannabis, it's a unique industry. We know we have clients, even though we ha haven't been legally able to market it in many states, nothing's open, it's not legal, but we know there are tons of, tons of customers out there. So the minute this goes legal, and we think this administration will legalize it because they need the tax revenue. It's all about the money. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's going to lift all these cannabis stocks in the wings right through the roof. Okay, you clearly, Alan, share the fervor uh, for <laughs> Tilray and the cannabis companies um, whose stocks we're seeing explode today. Um, but is there a concern that some of this is just speculative fever? Um, Tilray's market cap is in the billions now. Um, it, it's grown by hundreds of percentage points from its IPO, but it only has $28 million in sales. So do the fundamentals really back up this valuation in your view? No, not yet. But again, I think if you're getting into marijuana, into cannabis, companies like Tilray are good to get involved in. Diego, too. But of course, I'm speaking my own book here, but I think those are great companies to take a look at. I think in the, in the long run, look what Coke's doing. Coke's thinking about infusing a drink with cannabis oil. So I think in the long run, you're going to see this industry grow. And if you get in on the bottom floor, like some of these stocks are, it's a good place to be. Yeah, the valuations are a little out of whack, of course. But again, in the long run, I think it's a good place to be. I think it's interesting that you believe the Trump administration is going to be for federal legalization when we've heard the Attorney General Jeff Sessions um, being really in the reverse of, of that and wanting to, earlier in the administration at least, uh, crack down on some of the states that had gone um, for legalization. Um, do you think that because Jeff Sessions seems to be um, not on President Trump's good side right now, that actually bodes well for the marijuana industry? Uh, no question about it. I mean, he's been a thorn in our side, to be honest with you. But again, I, I think at the end of the day, Trump, being a businessman, is going to have to get tax revenue somewhere. And this is a great California loan, over a billion dollars in tax revenue once that goes legal later on this year. So I think overall, it's going to be a great year for cannabis. And now's the time to get in. All right. Thank you, Alan Valdez. Good to see you. Thanks. Have a great day. You too.